everyone welcome to joyful creations this is jayshree this side today i am starting a small series called mixed media 101 it will be a 3 to 4 weeks long series and i shall be posting a video every monday and thursday each week and to begin with i will be doing a two part video on the mixed media basic supplies but before we get started please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i upload a new video The very first thing that one needs in mixed media is a primer. For priming, you may get yourself a clear white or a black gesso. Depending upon the kind of projects you are more likely to do, you should buy your primer. Now, gessos are also available in various brands. I happen to have from Finnabare and Expressions Craft. Let's start with the clear gesso. As the name suggests, its nature is clear, that is it dries clear. The main use of this is when you are working with a pattern paper. So when you apply this on a pattern paper, it seals your paper and prepares it for applying any kind of paints and water on it without damaging the paper and the beautiful print on it. You can also use it when you want the texture and color on any embellishment to appear as is while you add colors over it. Next we move on to white gesso. This is the most commonly used primer. Be it decoupage bases, mixed media canvases, toning down the colors on a pattern paper and so much more. Most people confuse this with white acrylic paint. There is a lot of difference between the two. White gesso is primer and it helps to seal and prepare your project base so that the colors on your base appear in the right shade as well as the surface doesn't absorb the paint. While an acrylic paint is just a paint color, it has no sealing property. The same goes for the black gesso. So it totally depends on the kind of project you want to do as to which gesso to pick. If you are a beginner, you may go for Expressions Craft IMX Art Essentials. They are of very good quality and I have been using them myself from past 1 and 1/2 years. They also have smaller packages and is very pocket friendly. And in international brands, Finnabare has the best mixed media essential products. and i totally swear by them now you saw me use both black and white gesso on two metal embellishments we will test these with paints in the second part of the basics video also another thing to keep in mind while buying gesso is that you get yourself a heavy body gesso it is long lasting and not at all runny and liquidy like the one available with the camlin brand the camlin one works fine as well but i always recommend to invest a couple of hundreds more to buy a heavy body gesso for a longer run and better mixed media results so this was all about the primers and why it is important to apply them on your bases next i am moving on to the texture pastes but before we get into this i don't want you to get intimidated with all the variety that is available out there or with me in this video So the main two types of pastes one must have is a regular texture paste and a crackle texture paste. I have here a texture paste from Craft Tangles. I bought this a year back as I ran out of IMX one and wanted to try a new brand. This one has great consistency and applies smoothly with or without stencils. The texture paste as the name suggests is used to give different textures in the background or on your embellishments. Again a texture paste may be an essential product if you are going to be using a lot of stencils in your projects but there are many other ways to give background textures without a paste I will be covering that in one of the upcoming videos Another one of my favorite paste is the light paste from Finnabare This one is not available easily in India nowadays so you may replace it with IMX texture paste This one as the name suggests is very very light in weight and just like cream in consistency next important paste which i believe one must definitely get is a white crackle texture paste again depending on your budget you may buy either from finnabare or from expressions craft these are the two best brands for mixed media products also please note that this video is not a sponsored video from any of these brands i am sharing this information after being using these products myself from past couple of years Now a crackle texture paste is the best medium to give the cracks on any surface. Glass, MDF, canvas, metal embellishments, tree, tree branches, the list is endless. The trick with crackle paste is with its application. 
that is if you apply a thick layer you will get bigger cracks and if you apply a thin layer you will get smaller cracks also if you heat set using a heat gun you may not get as many cracks versus air drying so i'm going to let it air dry while i move on to other kinds of pastes available so next up i have black granite paste now this one is not an essential product if you are a beginner you may completely skip it it is a good product if you want to get a grungy look on your project honestly this effect can be achieved if you add a drop of black acrylic paint along with some sand in texture paste but if your pocket allows and you are an experimentalist just like me then go for it a similar paste to this is a white sand paste Again I have these two in a smaller packaging just to give them a try as they are made in India and from a new range of expressions craft. And here is everything once dried. I hope you can see the difference in the cracks as I mentioned earlier. Also another kind of paste available in the market is the icing paste. This again in my opinion is not a necessity. This is a thick paste which is in gel like consistency and colored. Icing pastes are available in various colors. I have here white gold and frosty pearls. You can add color on top of its application just like a texture paste, but it will resist if you add watered down paint. This product's effect can be achieved by mixing gel medium with metallic paint. So to sum it up, you need to have any kind of texture paste and a crackle texture paste to begin with. and rest all can follow once you have understood their usage and requirement in your projects now we move on to another essential which is gel mediums starting with little pearly gel mediums to be brutally honest i don't like them at all i bought it in urgency as finobears was out of stock and expressions craft didn't have them at that time i have used them just once The heavy gel is just not as heavy body as it should be and cannot be used to adhere heavy metal embellishments just chipboards or so and the soft gel is just useless. Next on to the expressions craft range they have all three art medium which is your soft gel then your art gel medium which is like a 3D gel and lastly heavy dimensional gel. Both the art gel and art medium gel are available in matte and gloss. and as you can see these are very well loved and are used quite often let's see the difference between these gels the soft gel or the art gel is like the sealer and used for adhering simpler and lightweight embellishments or even papers next the 3d gel or the art medium gel is for as the name suggests dimensional objects like metal embellishments or to give a dimensional texture in the background And lastly the heavy body gel is for the heavy embellishments. If stuck once with this gel the embellishment will never fall off its base. These gel mediums dry clear. If you're a beginner then my suggestion is to invest in a art gel medium from IMX or the 3D gel medium from Finabare. This one's perfect for all purposes. Moving on let's talk about some essential tools. First is a tissue roll You may also use a rough cloth for it. Then a palette knife or a silicone brush. You may also use any old plastic card like a debit card or a credit card. A spray bottle. I have here both a regular one you can find at any mart near you and a Ranger one. This one comes with a built-in locking system and the regular one with the bottle cap. And a tweezer. This is optional if you don't mind the mess on your fingers. The last meat The last mixed media product I want to talk about are the stones. These are available in three sizes, mini, regular and mega. You can again buy these from Expressions Craft in four different sizes and in smaller packaging to start with. These are used to add stony texture and to fill in spaces on your projects. These are not a must have but a good product if your budget allows. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. and your doubts about what to buy and where to buy are cleared i have provided links to all the products in the description box below so do check that out also i will be sharing types of paints and more in the part 2 of the basics supply on thursday so do subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified when i upload the new video please do share this video as much as you can with the people that can benefit from it 
Until next time, be safe and happy crafting. Bye bye.